Hi, my dear fitness friends. Today we have a full body and core workout to do. So this is going to be full body complex supersets, and then we're gonna to do Tabata pairs that are gonna be core focused. So it's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I will be using my 24 inch plyo box, my barbell, my dumbbells, and my kettlebell. Obviously, you can do this whole workout with just some dumbbells. Um, make modifications to make the workout your own and have fun with it. That's the most important thing. All right, I have a short body weight to body pair warm up. Um, so that's only four minutes. If you need more than that, please push pause and get it done. Grab your equipment and I'll see you on the mat in just a minute. All right, guys, I am ready to hit start on this warm up. We are doing swimmer arm burpees paired with a decline push up. Hop your feet down, inch warm out, push up, inch warm back, hop your feet back up. You have a 10 second countdown. Swimmer arm burpees is exactly that. We're gonna go into a burpee, get a push up, and do swimmer arms forward and back, okay? So hop down, get a push up, and get a nice swimmer arm this side and this side. Hop it up, jump. You can move your arms the opposite direction if you wanna do two swimmer arms forward and back. Nice job. This is your warm up. Make it feel good. Get yourself into the groove. Put a smile on your face. Feet are up, hands are down. Get a push up. Hop your feet down. Walk your hands out. Lots of push ups in this warm up. <laughs> Walk it back, feet come back up. While you're here, get a nice hamstring stretch. Take a moment, really get good and stretched out. Let the oxygen start flowing through your body. Swim our arms again. So hop it back, push up. I'm gonna go two directions on each arm. And hop it up. Nice job. On the decline, I'm really gonna take a moment to stretch my hamstrings when I hop down before I walk out. So really press it through. Nice job. We are halfway through this warm up, so we're arm burpees again. Starting to feel nice and warmed up here. Breathing it out. Stretch those hamstrings, walk it out, push up, walk it back. Nice work. Last full round here, some more burpees. Now that you're in your last round, I want you to start thinking about how good this workout is going to feel for you today, and what you're going to accomplish, how it's gonna make your mindset for the rest of the day. How you're going to be more efficient and more effective in everything you do because you gave yourself this time. Last 20 seconds here. And think about how many push-ups you've already done in just your warm-up. <laughs> nice work. Okay. Moving straight. 
straight on. We're gonna head into our first full body super set. We're doing a plank hop, kettlebell high pull, and a barbell hang clean. This is a five by five, okay? So five reps, five times through. Plank hop, high pull, you're just pulling that weight up to your chest. Hang clean, everybody's favorite move, you all know what it is. So I'm gonna go with my barbell for that. Get yourself set up for success here. Make sure you have plenty of room. And let's get it started. Plank hop high pull. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Drop it down. Moving on to your hand cleans. Forgot to start my workout on my watch. No big deal, it still counts. <laughs> Here we go, hand cleans for five. One. Two. Three. Four. four more times. Round two. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Set it down. Hang cleans. When you're doing that high pull, I still want you to control that negative. When you're coming down, don't just drop that bell down to the ground. Control it. Here we go. Five more. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Sorry about all the squeaking. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Let's go. Plank hop high pull. So, I apologize for the squeaking, but I don't apologize for being loud. <laughs> Two. Three, 
four, five. So get out of your way. Five hand cleans to finish it off. And we will head into our first core to bottom here. So let's go. Five hand cleans. One. inside of your leg. Nice and slow and controlled. Shoulders and head are up off the mat, keeping that core contracted the entire 20 second interval. And one. Okay, we're carrying out with a plate to pass off. So just a pull over with your arms, passing it off to your legs. So pass off that plate to your legs. Shoulders and head stay up, bring it back. Again, slow and controlled. Keeping that core pulled in tight. And then one, nice work. Back to your bicycle abs. So come around. Tap the inside of that leg. Make sure you're breathing. Don't hold your breath when you're doing core work. Nice job. Plate pass off again. You can rest your head down during these 10 seconds. Take a load off. Pass it off. Take those shoulders up off the mat. Lower back is pinned to the mat. Twenty seconds. That's it. It goes by so fast. We're already halfway done with this Tabata pair. Bicycle around the world arm plate. <laughs> the core work. Two and one. One more full round. Plate bicycles. Get back down. Here we go. Make that quad tight when you stick that leg out straight for your bicycle. Make everything you do a muscle controlled movement here. Nice work. Plate pass off, last 20 seconds in this first core to bottom pair. Then we'll move on to our next superset. Three, 
two, and one. Awesome, awesome job. Okay, set that plate aside or your light dumbbell aside because we're going into another superset. This is six by six. Six reps, six times through. We have a clean and press to an overhead reverse lunge. You're gonna get three of those per leg. So six clean and presses, but you're gonna alternate legs that you do the reverse lunge in, okay? We're pairing that with an elbow T-stand. We're gonna dip and press, and you'll get six per side for that move. So grab a quick drink. I'm gonna go with my sandbag for the clean and press to overhead reverse lunge. And for the T-stand dip and press, I'm probably gonna go with 20, 25s. So it's okay to dip. And then I press. Actually, I'm gonna go with 20s. Keep my form tight. Never be afraid to assess your weight and change it as you go, okay? Let's get started. Clean and press, overhead reverse lunge. That's one. Take a moment. 
after that cleaning press to get yourself stable, secure, before you do that lunge. That's four. Five. And six. Two stand presses with your dips. Let's go. Dip first, press second. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is a lot of shoulder work. When you're doing that press, try to make sure your arm is not waving around. If it is, we need to reduce weight. Okay? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice job. Three rounds already done. You've got three more to go. Yes, you can, and yes, you will, because your body knows what to do. Don't let your mind get in the way. Don't overthink it, just get on it. Here we go. Bring your press. One. Two. Finish it off strong. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just when you thought it was never ending, you're finishing off round five. So keep your head in the game. We got round six coming at you. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Nice work. I'm so darn proud of you guys. We made it. 
Let's go. One. Counterbalance, actually making it a little bit easier to come up out of that get up. Nice work. Three, two, and one. Let that inner track. Power you through, <sighs> saying you're strong, you're capable. <sighs> You've got these 20 seconds, you rock it. <sighs> On your back, here we go. Cool it over using those lats. <sighs> those powerful muscles that we've been working hard all morning so far. <sighs> Along with our core. <sighs> Nice work. And we are halfway through the step just like that. More than halfway through. Here we go. Guys, you've already been through a killer five by five, a killer six by six. These 
little 20 second intervals. They don't have anything on you. You've got one more full round. Last of time for pull over gaps. workout. You have one more rep based superset to do. And then one more to bottom here. That is all. All right. Getting on our final rep based superset. 10 reps to two reps, even only. Doing a double arm dumbbell snatch. Your fast, powerful move. Pairing that with alternating plank rows and oblique plank hops, okay? 10 reps to two reps. I'm gonna go with 25s for both moves. Remember, as your reps decrease, you might want to try to increase your weight if you're feeling strong. Here we go, 10 double arm snatches. One. Awesome job. Wipe that sweat off your face. Take a deep breath. Exhale it out loudly. Grab a drink. If you're shaking, if you're winded, I got you. I'm right here with you. We've got eight reps. Double arm snatch. Let's grab it and go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and down. Plank rows, bubbly cops. Control the negative. I'm saying that to myself as much as I am you. Two. Three. Four. 
four. Five. stay in the comfort zone. That's all I got to say about this set. <laughs> this set for me. It is hard. You get stronger. You enjoy this process. Enjoy this sweat. Enjoy the burn and the challenge. That is what it's all about. That's why you want to come back and do it again and again. We've got four reps. One. Two. Three. Four. Four plank rows. One. Two. Three. Four. Just when you thought you could pull it up off the ground one more time, you've got round two. Here we go. One, two. Plank rows. One. out of the way. You are done with them for today. Our last Tabata pair is push-ups. <laughs> we are doing a decline push-up, plank, hop your feet down, hop them back up. Sort of like we did in the beginning, but we're not inch-warming out, okay? Pairing that with an incline push-up, plank, hop your feet up, okay? If you don't like to hop your feet up, that's just fine. Do a regular push-up plank hop, do an incline push-up, and even just hop your feet up to be right by the bench and back, okay? Not everyone is into the hopping your feet up and like a gymnastics-like move, okay? I get it. Starting with a decline. So decline push-up, hop down, hop back up. When you do that push-up, I want you to look up and get your chest to the mat. All the way to the beep. Yes, we can. 
So for my incline push-up, it's more like a tricep push-up because my bench is so narrow. Hop it up. the declines. Get your mindset. Get your chest to the mat. Hop down. Hop it up. Watch where your feet are landing. That's the only time I want you to look down under your body in this push-up move. Keep an eye on it. No plyo box injuries today. Inclines. Really spring on up there. You have the bounce, you have the strength. Land light on your feet. Use your knees like they're springs. You're already halfway done. Just like that. Exhale, chaturanga. 
Inhale into up dog. Exhale into down dog. Lift your right leg up, bring it through to your hands. Come all the way up into warrior. Look out of your fingertips, holding this for 10 seconds. We're gonna reverse it at the beep. And come all the way down, put your hands back on the mat, go into a single leg chaturanga. Make it look as pretty as you want. Keep that leg up nice and high. Feel that flow. Left leg comes up all the way through to your hands. Bring your arms up, open up into warrior and hold for 10 seconds. Reverse it. Hands down to the mat. Left leg comes up nice and high behind you for that single leg chaturanga down. Up dog, down dog, hop to chair pose. Arms come up, sit into boat and hold your boat for 10 seconds. Breathing the whole time. Put your feet down and get up into chair and all the way to stand. Forward fold again. Flat back. Flow it down. Up dog. And down dog. Three, two, and one. Hold your down dog. Hopefully you're a little bit more flexible on your hamstrings now than you were at the beginning of this workout. Um, lift that right leg up. Bring it through. Come up. Open up, reverse, come all the way down through again. Single leg. And down dog. Left leg comes up, bring it through. Hold it up. You're on to your last 20 second interval here. So we're just gonna flow through this left leg and then come into child's pose. Down dog, and then drop to your knees. Fold right into the child's pose. Put your head on the mat and kind of roll it back and forth. Massage your forehead into your mat, feels really good. Stretch out those lats. Take a moment to be really proud of yourself. Take a moment to be grateful that your body can do this for you. Guys, I love you all so much. I hope you enjoyed this workout. If you need more time to cool down, take it. You deserve it. I love you. I'll see you at the next workout.